apologize about being late. I actually was sitting in my office talking with uh, Vic about his future. He uh, having some feelings. You know, when they put this four games, you can play and participate, and then redshirt. There are some unintentional consequences, uh, and we've seen it throughout the country where not just for the freshmen that some of the older guys think about about that. So he's he's up in the air on what he wants to do right now. He didn't make the trip with us, uh, so we'll see how that plays out. As far as the game goes, we did not play winning football. That's that's really the bottom line. We came out offensively and uh, didn't take the field with the intensity and the purpose that you need. And when that happens, you do things like throw interceptions, fumble, snap the ball over the quarterback's head. Uh, so that's my job is to get us ready to play and, and uh, come out with the right uh, attitude, right pr preparation. It was a struggle all week in practice. You could see that we weren't as focused and as intense as we um, need to be or have been. And that's something you have to be able to learn as a football team is that every single team in our conference has the ability to beat you and uh, you got to be prepared. And then defensively, we didn't play winning football in the second half. We made errors. Uh, we had gaps that were left open and gave up big plays. And, you know, I felt like offensively, we got out of it and we competed hard and we made plays and guys were really working hard to try to find a way to win the game. You know, I thought our receivers were catching the ball and working hard and getting open and Shelly, you know, was making some plays and when we tied it up, I really felt good about it. Uh, and then we let them return that kickoff return. Uh, we had four guys right there to make the tackle. He made a great play. So you can't take anything away from, from Youngstown. They did a good job and they executed what they wanted to do. But I do feel like we gave one away. So that I'll just open up for questions. So after they did run that kickoff back and the game was tied and they're on the 22 yard line, did you, did you just let them score on that next No, play? hell no. We were trying to keep them out. We've been playing great defense and, you know, holding them. And so it's 20 to 20. You yeah. know, there's no, no, they blocked us and ran, ran it in. We didn't uh, cover our gaps and jump. We jumped out of a gap and they ran right Zone. You bring up a bad week of practice. Just is that what do you think kind of contributes to that? Is it some kind of complacency with where they're at, or just kind yeah, of I don't know if it's exactly a bad week of practice, but not the same. Not the same intensity. Not the same focus. I think it's um, learning how to win. You know, learning how to sustain it. Learning that you know each week I got to go out and prepare and put the last game behind me. So. We just didn't have the same intensity, same focus, the same, you know, we didn't prepare as well as we need to. You work hard at it, you try to get them to do it, work at it. We have to learn as an entire team, coaches, players, everybody, that each week you gotta go out and give your best. Anyone's capable of beating you in this conference. Coaches, coaches never wanna say, oh, it's a good thing we lost, but um, just kind of having that Kind of getting punched in the mouth a little bit right there. You think that's a good thing for oh, this group? Oh heck, of guys? no! I'm yeah. going to be with, right with you. Said coach, would never want to say that. No, <laughs> that's a horrible thing. I would have liked to pull out the win and then be able to address the issues, you know. But, but we didn't do that. So um, no, we got to be prepared. We got to come in with the right intensity, take the field the right way. You know, I was really disappointed in our Saturday morning walkthrough. We didn't have the same focus and communication. And, not even close to the week before. So that's something we got to get better at as a football team. How do you do that? We demand it. And the players demand it from each other. I think that's the number one thing is, you know, when, when you're learning and growing as a team, um, it can't just be the coaches. It's got to be the players to step up and demand it from each other. And I'm um, pretty sure that we'll, we'll see some of that take take it out this week in practice. 377 rushing yards allowed. You know, just kind of not a typical look for that defense that's usually able to rise to the occasion the second half. Just, was it the gap control with just kind of what was it, everything in that defense? Yeah, there was a lot of things. You know, We made mistakes. Uh, we made some calls that, that uh, opened up some inside runs. And we were 
we weren't doing our technique and fundamentals at times. Their running back made some really good plays, and their quarterback made plays. You know, so it was a little bit of everything. Some of it's on us. Some of it's on you know certain things we did, and certainly they made plays. You know, and blocked us, and, and we didn't tackle at times. We made some assignment errors at times on who has the quarterback, who has the back. So it was uh, got out executed a little bit in the fourth quarter. Xavier and Ty both went over 100 yards receiving, and just a deep wide receiver. What's unique about each of them, and what do they bring to the team? Yeah, I thought they really competed hard um, as the game went on. Obviously, Ty had a bad fumble, and some of that's just trying to do too much. You know, he makes a great catch, makes a guy miss. You got to know that there's a whole bunch of other guys out on the field coming, so you got to take care of the football. The good thing is he came back and competed extremely hard. Both guys are great competitors, very, very talented. And, um, you could tell they both believed we would come back and win the game. Our teammates could tell it, and they helped us. Their, their competitive spirit helped everybody on offense compete. You bring up DeMaurier, just kind of meeting with him before this. That's a leader on the team, not making the trip and everything. Is that a concern? Just kind of, it's, of course, a personal thing. It's just kind of the thoughts there. Yeah, it's a personal thing. You know, I think he's feeling that he didn't, wasn't getting the ball as much as he has and as much as he did before. And, you know, what's the right decision to make? Uh, red shirt or not the red shirt or you know so we did wait and see I, all I told him is I I came back to coach just to help young men out so we're here for you and, and uh, wherever you feel is the best and think about after football too because a lot of times when you you make a decision you make it at the present time but really what how does it affect three or four years down the road you know what are your aspirations what do you want to be put yourself in my shoes because he, he talked about coaching. So he's going to be sitting in the seat like I just was and he's going to be advising a young man. So that, that's really what we talked about. Do you expect him back? I don't know. So we're going to find out. You know, I, I sure left the, the door open for him. He's just a really good young man and he's done everything he could for this program. And I hope he comes back. Your thoughts on Indiana State, um, a team yeah, that they're playing good football. You know, you watch them on defense, and they play extremely hard. Just like last week, they give us a ton of looks. Uh, probably more pressure. At least that's what they've shown. Um, but you know, guys last week kind of backed off and, and you know made made us earn it. Didn't want to give us anything by bringing pressure. Sometimes you get more big plays. So uh, you know, but their their mo is to bring heat and play a lot of man coverage. And then offensively, they, you know, what they impressed me on last week was their balance, their ability to rush the ball for over 200 yards and throw the ball for over 200 yards. I watched them their first game of the year on TV because I think it was the week zero. Um, so I was able to watch that. Their quarterback impressed me by his decision making. So we've got to go out and play good football. We're going to have to compete and play hard and, and find a way to win. And going back to the game, the, the pooch kick with a minute six left, what kind of went behind that decision trying to – it worked against Oklahoma State. Is that kind of – Yeah, we really didn't line up to, to pooch kick it. We lined up to kick it deep. Um, I felt like with three timeouts left and over a minute that we could stop them and call timeout, call timeout, call timeout. And we had been waiting to call our, our block. We felt like their time – and the block we practiced all week that we had a great chance to block the punt. So that was the decision there. But when we lined up where they lined up, then we made the sky call. So we, we checked to it after the alignment we saw. But it worked out. We got them inside the 20-yard line. Um, I think two or three seconds ran off the clock. And we had the ability to, to make our timeout calls. So I felt like that was a better percentage than trying to must on side. You consider going for it on that fourth down, one of the drives before? I thought about it, yeah, for a minute. And I felt like, you know, with our timeouts and being able to get the ball back. But yeah, I certainly thought about it. And some of the, some of the, you talk about beating yourselves a little bit. And some of that's kind of been in these other games, but 
you guys have been able to overcome it and win the game. Just uh, how much is that just kind of going to be? It's concerning. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. It's, it's definitely concerning. We have got to take care of the football. We've got to tuck it away better. We've got to lock it up. You know, I'm not as concerned about the interceptions as I am with the fumbles. You know, three interceptions over that five-game span is really taking pretty good care of the ball. Um, and then but the fumbles are not. That, that's that's really hurting us. Did you see Jason trying to do too much early on in the game, or just kind of what was this? No, I didn't think he was trying to do too much. I thought he tried to, in the, the second interception, he started to run and saw the guy come open um, and made the throw. Uh, their corner made a good play. He squeezed in and, and covered the seam. He missed the play before. We had the seam open on the other side of the field, um, and he dumped, dumped it off to the running back on the option route. So uh, he's just got to keep making good decisions. I think for some reason it's taken him a little bit while to get going in games. And you got to make good decisions early in the game. And getting going is just kind of something. The defense, uh, they've always they've been talking about being a second second half team all year, but just to bring it into the first half and look better there. Um, how much of an emphasis is there to just start better on both sides? Yeah, of we've been working on it. I thought, you know, against Illinois State, we started fast offensively. Um, the other day, to hold those guys to nine points with the way we were turning the ball over was a good start on defense, but we didn't finish the game the way we have. So, you got to play four quarters. That's really the emphasis, is to play four really good quarters of football. <clears throat> Xavier, what made you want to transfer here to Missouri State? Um, Coach Pete, really. I want to be um, under him, get a year play with him. Right. You mentioned earlier that you that the offenses are kind of similar. So how was that transition going from Western to here? Uh, it's, well, it's, at first it was kind of difficult because I've been under you know a different program, different offense. But um, coming in, I kind of got used to it. Once the um, summer moved on, once I got the that pretty simple. What's the feeling like whenever, uh, I guess the game is kind of going the way it is and you're raking up all these yards, getting all these catches, is there kind of a zone you get into at that point? Yeah. I kind of, well, I'll be in the zone for the jump. So I just will, once I get the ball and get going, you know, I still I'll be in my zone. Tell me about your decision to, to transfer here. I knew I had a family here already. Coach Beer, Appleby, Montre Braswell, all of us had a good connection while I was at Central, so I felt like it would have been it would have been comfortable for me to just make that transition. You were roommates with Montre back at Central? Nah, but we was always together. Somehow. <clears throat> what what was kind of his recruiting pitch to get you here? Talk after every game. Every game was like a Sunday meeting. So just every day, just calling, making sure I'm straight, seeing how I'm doing in this portal, everything that was going on. Frustrated, of course, but he got me here. So, is there anything you have to? Because um, the step from FBS to FCS is still D1, but is there anything you have to kind of tell yourself about? Is this the right decision, kind of making that step downward? No, nah, you're still playing football at the end of the day. It's 11 versus 11 on the field, and whoever played the hardest out of those two teams is going to be successful. So I don't really pay attention to all that FBS, FCS, ACC, SEC stuff. It's just football. You're going to play it hard wherever you're at. And you're kind of the young guy in the receiver room. got a lot of grad transfers or seniors and whatnot. Just what's it be like being able to learn with all these guys and learn with Xavier? Uh, I think him and Vic had the biggest impact on me since I got here. Just the point of knowing like where I'm trying to go and the ethic that you're gonna have to, you know, the work ethic that you're gonna have to put in in order to get there. And then small parts of the game, like what things you say, things you, the way you move, you know, because I was, I was challenged when I first came here, and by them two leading by certain ways, they're good examples. Like I always take the good from. Them. And even if they doing bad, they always tell me to always pay attention to stuff like that and react to it the right way. Xavier, how does having a guy like him on the other side sometimes just uh, make your life easier? Uh, some of the coverages you get. He's a good guy, man. Um, 
when I first came in, uh, it kind of reminded me of myself, like uh, the, the work ethic he put in, and I could just see how hard he was really dedicated about this game. And, um, like I said, I got a big aspiration going to the league too. So um, just seeing how hard he worked really, you know, gets me going and pushes me. So I try to like, you know, big brother him and keep him out of my way. Um, and another thing we're working on is composure. Keeping our composure with things going wrong, you know. Like drop the ball to practice, all right, man, just move on, you know what I'm saying? So don't, don't worry about that. And that kind of reflects in the game. Like I had a drop pass, you know, came back and made another big play. Just why about keeping composure, staying in the moment, so. Yeah. Ty, talking about that, I mean, you had a couple of issues in the first half, but you were able to come back. Uh, what did Coach talk to you about, and how did you? Uh, refocus to get to what you were doing and, and get the two touchdowns. Uh, it, was, it wasn't nice. <laughs> you know, I know the expectations of, from me, like, of him for me. So, regardless of what he stayed like, he said, like, the main thing I said that he touched on at the end of his, uh, his interview was about the four quarters. Like, I'm real big on playing all four quarters. And I know the first half I wasn't there. But I still know, like, it's, it's a whole 30 minutes left in this game, so I'm going to play this game as hard as possible and try to win. Ty, uh, Coach touched on uh, DeMaurier a little bit. Just how important is he to this team and just kind of, as, as he's kind of led you guys just coming in here? He's sort of like, he's like the glue. Like, he's one of those guys that makes sure everybody on the same page, regardless of what the moments be like when somebody's not having a good day. People all having a good day. He just, it's just him working hard. That was one of the big things he showed us. I feel like he's like he's a great guy, like coach, like coach just said. So it was kind of touching to me when he left too. So I ain't really just cool with it. Do you think he'll be back? I hope he does. Like I say, I don't. It don't really matter to me about who on the field. It's, as long as we all putting in the same amount of work to make sure we get this game. Right. Sideline for a so. Ty, you lead the team in receiving touchdowns and you caught a touchdown in the first game against Oklahoma State. Did you did you know you were gonna have this much of an impact so early on? Not really, but I was expecting like my work ethic to, to, to make sure that happened. Like I, I, I like to practice. Being under Coach P so far, like the main thing I like doing is practicing. Because I know like if I know I have a good week of practice, like it's it's bound to happen in the game. Saying like how what he be saying to me like yeah I keep all that in my ear I let that stay in my head the whole four quarters. Xavier, after you make a catch, do you have the special first step to be able to miss a guy, make a guy miss, and that's not that's not really too common for guys your size as receiver. Just but how are you able to do that, and just kind of how do you practice that? It's kind of just like a feel thing. I've kind of been doing it like all my life, so it's kind of like a field thing. I don't know how I can really say practicing it, but I don't know. I mean, one thing I can say, defenders like to attack, I mean, to attack um, that backside hip. So, I mean, that's what DBs call, talk most of the time. So, you know, I try to like make it a two-way go once I get the ball. So, keep it defense, guess it. God's gift. You know, it's just a field thing, like I said. I don't know. 